Hi and welcome everybody. My name is Chris from Teacher and Student and in this video I will show you how to add an amazing signature to your Gmail emails. Just like this one which will be automatically displayed every time you write an email. If you want to look professional, signatures are a vital part of any serious email. You should definitely have one. Adding a signature in Gmail is super easy and does not take long. Let's do it step by step. In your personal Gmail site, you click on the gear icon and then select all settings. Then you make sure that you're in the general tabs and scroll almost all the way down until you come across the signature section. I don't have a signature yet, therefore I click on create new. Since you can create many different signatures and people use different signatures in different situations, we have to give the signature we're about to create a name. I call mine main because it's going to be my main signature. Click Create. And in this field now, we can create the actual signature. Click in the field and start by pressing the Enter key twice, because that automatically gives you the correct formal space between email text and the email sign-off. Then we add our sign-off, so I don't have to type my closing in every single email. I personally work in a very formal work environment, so I'm writing kind regards. And my name, Chris under it. If you like, you can just say regards, thanks, or even cheers. Totally up to you. After the closing, press enter two times again. And now we write our full name, Chris Benetti. Make it bold for a nicer design. We add a vertical bar. And we can provide our job title. Let's say for me, it's YouTuber. Press enter and we type the name of our business or the business that you're working for. For me, that's teacher and student. In the next line, we can put our address. Just to make it look a bit nicer, we change the color of this line to gray to give it a little bit of variety. In the next line, you could then say email and provide your email address. Now we want to create a link, so if people click on our email address, a new email with you as recipient pops up for them. To achieve that, we highlight the address and then click on this link icon. Click on change and make sure that email address is selected here. This is our text that we just highlighted. So now we have to provide our email address again, which is already done automatically here. This time, this is for the link to be created. Now we click on OK and the link is saved. After that, you could provide your phone number. So we just say phone and then your number. As last point here, you could add a link to your homepage or Instagram or whatever beautiful projects you have. I'm just going to put teacher and student and create another link by highlighting and clicking on the link icon again. This time I select web address and copy and paste the URL of my homepage or actually, in this case, I'm going to take my YouTube channel URL in that field. There we go and click OK. Now the link has been added. This looks very nice already. If you want, you can add a little disclaimer now, which makes the whole signature even more professional and, you know, leaves a great impression. There are so many disclaimers out there. You could, for example, say something like this email is intended for the addresses only, blah, blah, blah. I put the disclaimer text in the description below for you, so you can just copy and paste it. Let me just put it in there quickly. Let's just quickly change the font of the disclaimer and make it italic. And done is our very classy business signature that brings across all important information in a simple and professional way. Notice I have not added any images or photos for a reason. Images are very often not displayed in the recipient's emails due to the settings that block remote images. So it might look very nice on your end, but the receiver gets a whole different result. So I would always keep my signature simple and straightforward. Now that we have created our great looking signature, we select when we want to add our signature to emails. I would use this main one only when I write new emails. So from the drop down for new email use, select main, which is the name of the signature we just created. On reply or forward, I would always use a shorter signature that we haven't created yet. 
so I leave no signature for now. For the next point, I personally don't like having the dotted line above my signature, so I tick this box here. If you want to have a dotted line on top of your signature, you leave this unticked. Now don't forget to scroll all the way down and click Save Changes. When we now compose a new email, we can see our signature has been added and look how professional it looks. Great! You should now send an email to yourself, check if everything looks good on the receiving end, also check on your mobile by the way, and make sure that the links you included all work fine. If that's the case, you're ready to use your new amazing signature. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to receive a like from you and maybe you might even want to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. See you soon and thank you very much.